All right, I'm back again, and I'm going to talk about the navigation, factory navigation in the Mercedes 2012 C class versus the TomTom Tom navigation. This is one of the latest TomTom Tom ones, the TomTom Tom 550 XL XXL, I believe, with the five-inch screen. I come to realize driving this car that the factory navigation is not a bad thing. I mean, in the past, I've never had navigation be a deciding factor with buying a new car. But now I think different navigations, I've seen a lot of CNET videos on Brian Cooley talking about the technology in cars. A lot of navigations in cars, the factory navigations are really, really crappy. Resolution, crappy um, in terms of the information displayed on the screen compared to a TomTom Tom Go or one of the top leading portable navigation devices. But driving this Mercedes is similar to my BMW navigation in that 99% of the time you're driving a car you're not using navigation, especially if you tend to drive daily daily routes from like work, school, um, homework, home school, home grocery shopping, different things. 99% of the times you're not really using navigation guidance per se, but 99% of the time, 100% of the time, when you're not using the GPS, it gives you a whole lot of different information. And the information of the in-car factory navigation the screens tend to be bigger, and this Mercedes, it is a big screen, it's a 7 inch screen diagonally. But the right now I'm not using the map, the navigation guidance, but the map is up. I could also switch into radio mode to go to what I'm listening to, and CD mode and different things. But if I hit the navigation body button, and Mercedes did a good job of making these buttons easy to touch from the steering wheel, so to switch between what you're doing. If I want to make a phone call on my Bluetooth, I could do that. Um, and I could voice command with the voice command package. I could dial off what I'm the person I'm calling or whatever I'm trying to do with my phone. So I'm gonna go back into navigation real quick. So right now I'm not using the map, right? And I'm saying I'm driving home from. This is the normal way I take when I'm driving back home from the grocery store. So I realized in driving back and forth from my grocery store for the last couple of years, I usually take the route I know, the one route, but. And because this screen, this factory screen is so big, I realize there's a lot more information on it in terms of where the streets are, the nearby streets that I don't see. So I'm driving in a straight line home, but I'm seeing nearby streets that I could take that connect to where I want to go, my, des my final destination. So casually driving, I could use the factory navigation to find other routes, quicker routes, easier routes to, to get home or get where I'm needing to go. The TomTom Tom doesn't really do that per se when you're not using the factory navigation. It doesn't give you a lot of information on the streets around the car. Like that's my car right there facing the river. It's just as it's displayed here, I'm facing the river. I could also switch to a 2D mode. But I think the 2D mode on the TomTom, Tom, and let's zoom in a little bit, or zoom out actually. The 2D mode, and yeah, I don't want to go into that. I just want to zoom out. Come on, guy, let's zoom out. So, you know, and the touch screen, so, okay. So the TomTom Tom has this. I have not figured out, I had this TomTom Tom for a couple of years now. I have not figured out how to get it to face where the car is going. This is set up so the top of the map is facing north. This is set up, I could, I could configure this. Um, go to navigation. I could configure this so the map is orientated. Map settings, map orientation. I could, oh, I could, um configure this so I could uh, have heading up the direction the car is driving and I could set it so it's going in that direction. Of course I set um, the bird's eye view and a 3D map is only useful in the city when you're driving around tall buildings it gives you a three-dimensional view of the buildings around you which is really cool I've used it a few nights ago it's really nice so uh, let's be fair to the TomTom -tom and do north up so right now it's gonna be similar to the TomTom. -tom. So as you can see, the TomTom -tom automatically zooms in on, on the car, zooms back in where the car is, and I'd have to zoom back out every time. And when I start driving, it's gonna zoom back in to just on the car, and I can't really see the streets around. With the factory navigation, I can see lots of streets around the car. Um, and you see the maps are orientated the same way, where north is pointing at the top of the screen, on the TomTom -tom and this. So you can see the difference, right? It's just more information displayed on in this um, map. And to be fair to the TomTom, -tom, the factory in this car, it is a 7-inch screen or something like that versus a 5-inch diagonal screen. But the TomTom -tom also has the information around it as well. 
And I went to Best Buy the other night and I was looking at the bigger Tom Tom. They have, I think it's the V something, the V series Tom Toms, and they come with seven inch screens now. And the difference with a seven inch screen Tom Tom, um, port or portable navigation, the Magellan had one and the Garmin had these monster screen navigations, is the resolution on those big screen um, navvies are big. So it's like you don't get more information on a bigger screen navigation, a portable navigation. What you get is all the icons, all the lettering, all the streets layout, the details is just magnified. So the resolution, it looks, I think the numbers are different when you, when you compare the sh um, cus consumer con comparison list. But in playing around with it in Best Buy, I realized the resolution on a big screen TomTom, -tom, like a 7 inch screen, it looks just like the 5 inch because it's, it's just all the information is zoomed out. So you get the same information on this screen as you would a 7 inch screen. It's just zoomed out more or everything's bigger per se. But on the Mercedes Benz, and BMW is the same navigation. The one in my car is the same setup here. Uh, just per chance I'm driving this car today, not my BMW. I'd be doing a video with this showing my BMW navigation how that navigation, the factory just shows you a lot more information on the screen. In terms of when you're not using navigation guidance, you can still use the map to get around. and and I think that's a good thing. I mean, it's for me. I think it's it's sort of a next car I buy. I'm gonna look for factory navigation, basically, because I realized the usefulness of of that feature. And that's and that's it.